Hi, my name is Moise. And my name's Nicholas. Today we're going to be going over electrical components that are used in FRC. You may have seen our previous video on a similar topic, but today we're just going to be doing a review rather than going into the specifics, which will happen in a later video. So without further ado, let's get started. We will be starting with the PDP, also known as the power distribution panel. The power distribution panel allows power to be distributed through various electrical components. The panel consists of a total of 16 slots. Eight of those slots include a 40 amp slot for continuous current, while the other eight slots include a 30 amp slot for continuous current. The panel also includes connectors for CAN, RoboRio, the voltage regulator module, and the pneumatic control module. A great way to visualize the PDP is through a highway. The cars on the highway represent the electricity that flows within the circuit, while the exits represent the different ports that the electricity can come out of. So the PDP allows different amounts of electricity to exit through different areas at certain times. The battery that our team uses to power our electrical components is a 12 volt lead acid battery that is also used on motorcycles. The main breaker is like an on and off switch for the whole robot. It is connected to the PDP and the battery so it can directly stop the power coming from the battery. Now we're going to talk about more breakers. Remember the small ports in the middle of the PDP? Well, those ports are actually used for 20, 30, and 40 amp breakers. So these breakers are there to make sure not too much power goes to one motor controller. And by the way, for one motor controller, you must either use a 30 or 40 amp breaker, depending on the type of motor controller and the action you want it to complete. Now, let's look at the RoboRio. The RoboRio is kind of the brain of the robot. This is where all the code is stored. Because of that, the RoboRio sends commands to various electrical components to tell which motor or air compressed module to power. Here is the pneumatics control module, which is also known as the PCM. So the PCM is basically the PDP, but only for pneumatics. So the PCM controls the inputs and outputs of the pneumatic system on the robot. This is a voltage regulator module, also known as the VRM. The VRM gets power from the PDP and regulates smaller electronics, such as LEDs. The access point of the robot is called the router, and the router communicates with the controls in the computer, and this allows for the robot to be operated. This is one of the motor controllers, the Talon SRX. The motor controller tells the motor on which direction to spin and how fast to spin. So the RSL is probably one of the most important parts of the robot. It's the robot safety light or robot signal light. And it basically tells people whether the robot is on, off, or ready to move. And this light is important because it helps so people don't get hurt and it makes sure and it helps to make sure that everyone stays safe. Thanks for watching. If you would like to learn more about these electrical topics, keep watching for more amazing content. Also, if you have any questions or comments about what we talked about today, or if you just want to say hi, feel free to send us an email at frc5587 at gmail.com.